In other video, we were able to calculate current ratio and also we did the interpretation of current ratio. Today, our topic will be the limitations of current ratio. There are limitations to using current ratio to assess liquidity. Cash is the only acceptable means of payment. This is the reason why it is important to consider the liquidity of individual components of current assets. A firm with current assets primarily composed of cash and an overdue receivables is generally regarded as more liquid than a firm whose current assets consist primarily of inventories. Inventories will take more time to be converted to cash. A high current ratio provides comfort that the company will be able to pay obligations on time but does not guarantee that no liquidity problems or payment problem will arise. The current ratio cannot predict future cash flow. If significant amount of accounts receivable comes from one customer and that customer will file for bankruptcy, there would be significant delay in collecting the payment. Even if the current ratio is high because of the receivables, the ability of the firm to pay debt will be compromised due to to the non-collection of that significant receivable. The ability of a firm to pay on time also depends on the quality of receivable. A company with a current ratio of 3 may end up having difficulty paying on time if it takes longer time like 120 days instead of 30 days to collect the accounts receivable. The ability of the firm to pay on time also depends on the quality of inventories. A company will have difficulty to pay liabilities if its inventories take more months to be sold or in most of its inventories are non-moving items. The current ratio implicitly assumes that the inventories and account receivables are liquid which is presumably not true when the related turnover ratios are low meaning more time for receivable to be collected and more time for inventories to be sold. Turnover ratios will be discussed on other video. If most of the current assets are composed of prepaid expenses then the current ratio overstates the liquidity of the company. Take note that the prepaid expenses cannot be converted to cash to pay off the liabilities. The good news is that we can use a more strict or conservative measure of the firm's liquidity which is the quick ratio or also known as acid test ratio. That will be the topic on our next video. Any problems with liquidity, ability to pay short-term obligations may also affect the company's ability to pay long-term obligations. Solvency. <laughs>